sometimes dreams die hard in Southside Chicago, where too often teenage girls are raising kids, playgrounds are turf for games, and lives end all too soon. The odds seem to be against young Sharita Caesar. Even though she traveled far to get a good education, she often witnessed violence on the L train, a painful reminder of where she came from. And it was probably in high school that it was probably the first time that I started feeling left out. I started feeling ashamed of, of where I was coming from. So I was a girl from the projects. Everybody else had everything given to them. They drove cars to school. Uh, they always had money. You know, I was the one that was getting the, the lunch tokens and having to eat the meal because that may, have, may be the meal, depending on what time of the month it was when the check came. But when Sharita almost lost her hope, a school counselor helped her find her way out of despair. She pressed my face up against that window, you know, just literally pushed me to the window and said, well, anytime you need motivation, you just look outside your window. And I remember that being a turning point for me because outside my window in the projects were, you know, girls who were getting molested, guys who were drinking, you know, reefers like, you know, blowing up from the, from the uh, house. I lived on the second floor. And when I did look out my window, I, I knew I had a choice. Sharita's choice was to make the grades to get out of the projects. She graduated in the top 10% of her high school class. Attending college at the Illinois Institute of Technology, she went on to receive a Bachelor of Science and Master's degree in Mechanical Engineering. Her hard work also rubbed off on her mother, who graduated as valedictorian of her business school, breaking a 16-year cycle of welfare. We'd have our time and we would talk about things. And one morning she told me that uh, she was going to go back to school. And I really, I mean, I felt extremely proud about that. I mean, you know, my mom had, to, at that time, we'd been on welfare a long time, and for her to take that kind of move uh, at that point in her life just, just it inspired me even more. Her career has taken her worlds away from Southside Chicago. I, I get goosebumps, you know, because I, I feel truly blessed. I think about the background that I came from, the, the projects, uh, the things that I've seen in my life, the things that I've survived. I mean, everything from skipping bullets on the uh, ground to, you know, being in, in Chicago, experiencing, you know, prejudice. And I've seen so much. And when I go to another country, when I go to Singapore or China or Malaysia or Tokyo, and I may be the only black in the country that week, I mean, it, it, it seems so apparent to me. And I, and I pause and I reflect on how blessed I am. You don't get a second chance. This is it. This is life right now. So when you have dreams, you should have them. You know, you should feel completely excited about the possibility of creating something and dreaming it. 